Good morning, birthday girl. Oh, hello guys. I just woke up. It's Dom's first day. <coughs> oh my gosh. And she's up so early. I can't and believe I'm turning 21. <laughs> she's not. Okay, so what do you think I got you for your birthday? I I'm just telling her because it's on pre-order. I think I or back order. I think Kenzie got me a passion planner. No, but you probably need one. A she reads truth bible. <laughs> I got you the UGG things that you wanted. The shoes? Yeah. The, I thought you would know that. That's why I was like, they're on back order, so make sure no one else buys them because they're not going to come. I texted Kayla not to get them. But then, apparently everyone's planning on getting them for you, so I got I think first. it was the only thing, the only well, thing that you makes, ever wanted. That makes sense, because I did post on my Finsta, and well, I was like, are these cute, you guys? Well, what I was like, perfect that she posted that because I just asked her to whatever it worked Next but time also, I'm just going to start posting my wish list on Finsta. I, yes, but also I was going to do it. I kind of always planned on it because you kept saying you wanted. I knew which eyes you wanted, but you just hadn't bought them. Oh yeah. my gosh! Isn't it crazy? This is probably gonna be the longest vlog of my life. So, but you know that everyone loves it. They can do twelve three thirty, and then when they finish twelve three thirty and they're starting work, they can play this. That's so true. Um, I've posted. I'm posting it right now. A compilation of videos. We're bringing for Dawn's birthday. We're bringing back. The Shrek nails. We're bringing back the video where Dom pulls her hair out. What do we call that video? When we're dancing on my bed. Oh, and I pulled my hair out. During like Britney or something. Yeah. Um, a never before seen TikTok of Dom roasting someone who roasted me. Um, I mean, like, there's a lot there, so go check it out. Wait, that is so funny. I'm excited <laughs> to see this. Like, you haven't seen it before? The boys are- I know, this is just never before seen footage. Yeah. What if that person comes for me? Because I came for them. He won't. Then I'm gonna come for them again. And then, honestly, it'll be good for your career. I almost wore cowboy boots last night with my outfit. And yeah. everyone said no. And I said if Kenzie was here, she would have said yes. Yeah, because wait, can we would actually make everything look better? Speaking of Shrek nails, do you want to see what Sab got me? Also, look at the boots, guys. Beautiful. And these boots are, they're not mine. She just copied me and got the same ones. Oh my god. It's the Shrek <laughs> Supreme collab. Yeah. I know, when you showed me the skateboard, I was... Whoa. No! What have I done to you? About to leave for my dry bar appointment. I'm getting my hair blown out because I hate doing my hair. Dom is preparing her playlist for her party tonight. I don't think we even said that to the vlog. Dom is throwing a birthday party tonight. That's why there's a Shrek, like her nails, um, pinata here. That's what do you have to tell the class, Dom? You guys. I just want to say, you know, I'm feeling just really on top of the world, especially after our reading. No, that was literally the literally the Oh, most I don't think we told the vlog. We had a psychic reading today. I don't think we vlogged this yet. It's going to be a whole video. It was crazy. Literally insane. Literally one of the craziest things that's ever happened to yeah. me. And I was shook out of my mind. And ever since, honestly, that reading, I've just been on, I've just been feeling on top of the world. Absolutely on top of the world. And we ha we have just like a fun little get together with friends tonight planned. And it's going to Pretty. be, it's going to be so much fun. Yeah, so anyways, I'm going to get a blowout. I'm actually meeting a friend and we're getting them together at Stry Bar. I always go to the one either on 3rd or the one on Sunset, which I honestly go to the one on Sunset more because there's always more openings. I'll show you my outfit. It's very cute, guys. I have this pink vest from Urban, a white long sleeve. These pants are Urban. I actually think they're my sister's and she left them at my house. Um, I have these Prada shoes on, my breadwinning housewife toe. Thank you. Bye. Here we go to Dry Bar. I'm out of my blowout. This is where I used to take hot Pilates, like down around the corner. It's so funny because the Oppenheim group is here. There's like always tourists now because of the show. Anyways, off to sleep room we go. We're ready for Dom's birthday. Dom, want to do an outfit of the day? Yes. So this dress is from Nordstrom, BP. Cute. 
That's really yeah, all I'm wearing. Um, and I mean these shoes are dogs. Um, I'm wearing Dom's cowboy boots that we got at Boot Barn. If you guys haven't seen the video, check them out. And this, this up here is natural. Okay. <laughs> are you gonna tell them your caption yeah, for today? Yeah, my captions would be like, I have boobs too. You know? I'm gonna be like, Kenzie's not the only one with boobs, you know? <laughs> That's literally my We captions. figured out what, what works on Instagram, we guys. We figured out what gets <laughs> people's attention. <laughs> yeah, we did. But I actually like, posted this selfie. <laughs> I accidentally posted this. It's not bad. It's just like, <laughs> I didn't. Wait, like, I accidentally posted this to my main story. It's not a bad photo, though, at least. I look like, like that one piece of like yeah, hair. No, she okay. Happy birthday, Dom. We love you. Me? I, I carried her 21st birthday cake, so. Ready? No, I always do. Happy birthday, birthday to Every time I do this shot, I feel like I'm in college again. Okay, happy Monday, guys. So, Dom's party was a huge hit, as you saw. Literally, story of my life. I'm gonna show you guys a lip combo I've been going for. Yesterday, honestly, I edited naps. We went to Jones, as you guys saw. That was kind of it. Oh my god, I have my blue bottle right now. I'm about to record for Making Moves, aka TK's podcast, and then she's recording for mine later today. I have four shows total. I got her some matcha. I got here like a little bit early because I'm always early to everything. Always 10 minutes early to everything because I have anxiety and if I'm not able to sit in my car for a few minutes before I go inside, I just feel so rushed. This has been my lip combo lately, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Hourglass Velvet Teddy Velvet Story and then just a lip gloss on top of it. Actually, I've been liking the um, Oh dang it. It's not even in this bag. I don't know where I put that my Too Faced I've been wearing the like lip pumper one. Look who it is I have your matcha. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Look where I am Hello. Welcome vlog guys remember the bag from the Bahamas vlogs? Yes so cute. Every, every day. It is Best such a good bag. Ever. I'm so glad that happened. That was like such a fun moment. No, I told so many people the sweetest part about it was the boys in the hotel room after. Yeah. It was so yeah, cute. A hall. A hall, yeah. They really were your hype men. <laughs> Guys, we just recorded such a great episode. 
it really just picked up the last um half then we literally we had so much to say oh we had God. never before told story on the About pod tk's juicy breakup tk's juicy breakup there you go <laughs> We just finished recording, heading to Alicia's. We're going to the studio for me later. Got some recordings, but we're off. Beverly one. Guys, we just made it to the studio. TK's here. We in the stew. The motherboard means stew. I'm actually gonna play the NFL. NFL. This is what I play when my boss isn't in the mood to film. I literally play this. And she's like, shut up. This like reminds, honestly, this makes me really relax as it reminds me of my home. Down. All right, guys, it is Monday night. I recorded four episodes today, went to Alicia's. I didn't film that much because, honestly, it's really hard in studio days to film at the studio, obviously, because we're already filming and recording, getting my meter, going to John and Penny's again. Here we are. I'm meeting with my editor, Carly. Um, it's going to be great. All right, guys, a little recap of today. Um, it was crazy. I didn't vlog a ton. Recorded at 9 a.m. with TK, went over to Alicia's, ran an errand, met up with a friend from college, got lunch, and then I was in the studio, recorded three shows, got John Avenies with Carly, just dropped Dom off some food. And now I'm done with my day, but I just wanted to kind of like chat with you guys because. I don't know, and I want to preface this by saying I am not an LA hater. I normally like love the city of LA. I don't think it's fair to generalize. There are so many great people here. Obviously, I have some of my best friends, but I just, I don't know. I would say like 80% of those that I know who live in LA are either trying to get out or really want to get out of LA. And I was like, oh guys, like, I don't know. Like, like it's a great city, like it is. I definitely think there's other cities in America to live than like LA and New York, even though I, I love New York. Like I much prefer New York over LA. Now, I, I'm always like, there's other cities. Like I don't think LA is an all be all, but I have loved LA. It's definitely like shaped me into the person that I am so much. Uh, I learned so much here. I made incredible friendships. I mean, like people that like I would die without like Dom in itself is worth it. Ryan, like all of my like people here, um, but it got me thinking like when I am here, I just feel like almost like claustrophobic and like I just Don't ever want to be here. Honestly, like I don't look forward to coming really anymore And that's like weird because I always have so I don't know like that's kind of odd It was also like my dream growing up and I'm obviously like, so grateful for my life and my time here but it's just so crazy how you really just like it really served me at a time in my life, but now I'm like, I I don't even know how to describe how I feel, but just weird. And I love LA and I'm so grateful for it and like my time here and stuff. And I'm not saying like if you live here or like if you love it, like I'm not saying that. I just mean like my personal experience now with the city that once was like so dear to me. It just feels weird. Like, and I saw a life here. I have so many roots here. I have so many friends here. It just got me thinking and TK and I talk about this on the podcast today to like trust your gut because I knew that I needed to make a, a move. I don't know what it was and I had no idea my life was going to end up like so much better in Dallas. I would have never ever ever expected that but I really trusted my gut. I went against what people in my life were telling me to do because I knew deep down that that was the right move for me even though at the time it wasn't a full-time move but still and it was the best decision of my life and if anything these past few days in LA have taught me even though again I'm here all the time I made the right decision and there is no better feeling than that but it was really hard I was really scared um it was yeah it was honestly a difficult thing to do and I was really worried and I thought like maybe this is gonna like be really bad for my career or like whatever and it just wasn't it was the right move if you are currently thinking about something or something's on your mind and change you want to make a scary move something I'm telling you trust your intuition follow that I promise you well I guess I can't promise you but I hope that it is the same outcome that I feel. I've almost been gone out of LA full time for two years. Almost like two years now, guys, which is crazy that it's gone by so fast. To be honest with you, I still see most of my friends in LA the exact same amount because you just don't see your friends when you're in LA anyways. But yeah, I don't know. There's just something about it. Like, I don't feel... I don't feel like I used to when I'm here at all. Like literally at all and I honestly like spend my time like so excited to be home so we're like obviously I want to be with Dom so that's like really the only thing and like obviously there's other friends you guys just like don't know them but even then like besides a few here my quality everything in Dallas for me is just so much better 
So yeah, trust your gut. That's my life lesson for today. Um, time to go in. Dom, it, oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> okay, um, love you guys. We're going inside and need a shower and stuff. I have an early morning workout. Dom is watching The Bachelor and I'm going home. Thanks for picking up your order. It's look who I'm with. <gasps> Hi, Miss. All right, I just left p -Bob. It was my first workout there. I've wanted to work out. I, oh! Um, I woke up early, got coffee with Maddie, and then we went to work out. I loved p -Bob. As you guys know, I normally, when I lived here, I went to Hot Pilates. Oh, okay. When I lived here, I went to Hot Pilates every single day on Sunset, and I loved it. My teacher, Dayla, doesn't teach there anymore, though, so, like, when I come here, I rarely will go there, or I'll just train with her. But I'm trying out like different studios because my friends have been changing up what they do. I really loved people. I think I'm having some people on um, for the podcast for them too. Anyways, it was really good. So if you guys are looking for a place to go, I like it. All right, anyways, I'm back from the workout. Dom is in here. She stayed at our friends last night. For whatever reason, last night I got really anxious. I need to be more intentional with when I do batch recording weeks. And I know it probably sounds stupid. And when I say this and you are like a host and you don't have a podcast, things like that. It sounds really dumb because you're like you're just talking to someone but batch recording Recording even two episodes in a day is so exhausting and I don't know how else to describe it It's one of those things that like you only will get it if you've done it Anyways doing 14 episodes in a week is a lot and two a few of them three of them were for another show Still like recording that much is exhausting and I was getting really overwhelmed about tomorrow because that was a big day And I had so many and I'm just like Okay, I'm feeling all over the place. I want to make sure that these episodes are like the best of the best of the best of the me because I obviously care so much about the podcast. And it feels like there's a lot of pressure because when I'm recording in a week, it's basically like the next three, four months of episodes. So it's actually a lot of pressure because that's like a quarter of the year and I need to be on one. And I feel like this week, I'm just not fully on one. Like I just got back from New York. I was home for a few days. It's rushed. It was right after a big like social weekend and I just need to stop doing batch recordings like uh, when it's super super busy like I need to just prioritize taking care of myself around them and then just doing the amount of time where like my social battery is higher if that makes sense but actually two of the guests tomorrow canceled which sucks well they're rescheduled which sucks but I actually feel so much better now and it's exactly what I needed so I'm happy anyways today I have three episodes Tomorrow I have two and the next day I have two and that's a lot more manageable to me even though it's still a lot But I'm just feeling a lot better. So anyways, I just ordered breakfast I'm gonna start getting ready and then I'm heading to the studio in like an hour and a half I started reading Monica from cheer So I'm reading her book and it's really good. I love her cheer season two comes out tomorrow. I cannot wait I'm watching it. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing a brown revolve set um, my Prada slippers loafers, whatever this coat is my new favorite one from Revolve. The craziest thing happened, my other two recordings for tomorrow, I had four. All four of them got canceled this morning. And honestly, that is okay with me. Normally I would be like, that is such a bummer. But I've gotten enough done, I'm still recording Thursday. And I have just like a day off, which would be nice because I just, I need to regroup and not be on camera talking to people, not in like a vlog setting, but hosting. This is my lesson of booking things way too close to each other and not resting. And I just am feeling like overwhelmed and burnt out, if that makes sense. What a nice surprise that I have the entire day off from recording tomorrow. I might actually get to get lunch with people that I never get to see. Anyways, I'm about to head off to the studio. Um, I need to also honestly go to the Grove. I think I'm gonna have to do that after our facials with Dom. Dom's doing other stuff today. I don't even know. She's going to some like NFT thing. She's becoming like crypto girly these days, guys. But here we go. Here's my outfit. I'm feeling so cozy. And I'm so happy that these got recorded, even though I'm excited to record with these people in the future. But it's a good surprise. Just left the studio, guys. I am glowing. One, I have a day off tomorrow, which is what I needed. Two, I just recorded the best swap of my life. Like, I will talk to you guys in a second. I'm about to pick up Dom. It was so good. Switch the noon one time, up video. one time, Kenzie put the most just like disturbing thumbnail of me up and I almost killed it was so bad that one of my friends screenshotted it and sent it to me and was like did you know Kenzie posted this to be honest with you I'm really not that friend that's just like I only look at myself I don't care but like at that neither moment, of us have ever been like don't post that at that moment you actually you I guess I was then but but like I don't 
I personally do not care at all. Wait, where are you going? I'm gonna turn around because oh. I couldn't make it all that. Wow, Wait, your camera hold skills. Hold on. I, I, this is not a vlog friendly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're not really good today. Thank you. This is not a vlog friendly car right now. The recording of How a Topsy, I was in a not the best mood, as we know, guys. I was singing the Texas song, I, you know, oh my you god. You were actually down bad. I was down bad. I was so anxious last no, night. No, honestly. Sav and I were worried about you, bro. I was so anxious. I was not feeling good. I was really, like, homesick, which I, I normally find, like, weird. Like, I, I don't know. I've also been not home much, but I just was all over the place. I was feeling really overwhelmed with recordings, so I'm so glad I have tomorrow off. I was just like all over the place. Am I gonna go and then go back right to where the little turn is and then turn right or? I kind of figured this is what would happen. Here's the thing, I started my day off today with early morning coffee with Maddie and we went to work out. And that set the tone and I knew that was gonna make my day better. Then I got ready and then I headed to the studio and I had a great recording with Rebecca as well. This was a really good one. The second one was a swap. Um, and we talked about like, she wrote a book on like solitude and like she said a line that I feel like it's just gonna hit. And it's being single is not a problem to solve. I thought that was really good. Huh? Yeah, thank you. Ooh. Amen church, you know? Okay, um, I'm sorry you guys, it's getting a little rocky. Okay, but then I recorded with Topsy and she's new to your media. What if I just recorded you like this? That's fine, just make sure it's like a good angle. Okay, you guys are gonna see my face, but it's gonna be easier on your eyes. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, okay, anyways, I recorded with Topsy and it was literally the best episode of my entire, like, it's like one of my favorite episodes I've ever recorded. And she's like a business mindset coach on like, she's an emotional intelligence coach, she's a food therapist, she's a social worker, she was everything. She's done it all. Um, but it would be good for anyone, even like business or not. I it just, need it's all about her. limiting beliefs. You need to hire her as your coach. Yeah, I need to find her right now. I already connected you on Instagram. Okay, I'm I literally immediately when I left. I texted Lauren, I texted so many people and I said, you have to have this girl on your podcast. And I connected them all on Instagram. Within, I literally hadn't even left West Hollywood. So anyways, feeling really good about today. We are getting facials at six. Um, I don't know what it means when you show up to a facial with makeup on. Like, yeah, I know. They have to have makeup, makeup. on. Makeup. I, I just never go to facials with makeup on. Um, we're gonna be snatched because it's like the face gen like workout stuff. So that's gonna be good. Um, I know, they were like asking questions. They are like, what do you want? I was like, sculpt, 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 snatch, snatch, whatever makes my jawline literally look like I'm going to cut someone's neck open. Yes, and I have been listening to Britney Spears as well today, which is a very important note of a mood. I did notice lifter. that about you. Oh my God, it just does something to me. Like it really, it's like when I work out and you know, I, well every time, fun fact too, on Friday nights when I'm getting ready for like my girls dinner and then going out, um, Every weekend when I'm getting ready, I blast either a BFS podcast or um, a Britney Spears concert from Hawaii. And I will do, I will literally work out to that yeah, thing. I I've, it playing I've witnessed time. it. And it's a good, it's a mood booster. In the words of Lord Elizabeth, right? It's a mood booster. Someone um, was wearing moon merch at the office, so I sent a photo Wait, to Wait, that's really, really cute. cute. And guys, I got some of the last edits on the new Brevity Housewife merch launch, the next one today. I still have like a few more edits because like I'm so annoying, but you do have something coming soon, so get excited. So get excited, people. Yeah. If you're not excited, then you're not winning. Yeah, sure. no, I'm just kidding. Tom, how was your day? Dude, I went to the most insufferable NFT event, and I like it's crazy how I just wasn't like enthralled by the Here's idea. the thing, you guys. Now I'm gonna turn the camera on to me because now we're gonna focus on this. I am learning about NFTs because one of my best friends is also into NFTs and like went through all that crap. And as someone who is an artist, like. NFTs are interesting to me. No, I'm really fascinated by it. Because actually. it's like really important for me, especially like if you guys know with like graphic design, being able to like monetize your work is, huh? that was like. They literally were like, what the hell's wrong with you? I don't um, think I've ever haunted someone before. You did that in the Cooper. Something <sighs> about driving in the Cooper. Yeah, really. Um. Anyways, being able to monetize my work as someone who got like ripped off millions and trillions of times with my graphic design and is getting ripped off currently like I'm really interested in it so I went to this event because one of my friends is starting an NFT soon which is very exciting and I wanted to connect my friend and this other friend who's starting an NFT and since we're gonna be a part of this project I was like okay let's go to this no this shit was 
insufferable. It was insufferable because we're sorry I got cut off because anyways I did get cut off. Don't worry, I remembered where I was at. We were two cute ass girls at an NFT event. So what do you think's gonna happen? Of course, some weirdo people are like sharing their NFT projects. So of course we're two cute girls in a room full of weirdos in someone's amazing Hollywood Hills backyard with only two cute people there in a room full of weirdos. And this guy comes up to us and is at, like talking to us and first like he's like so like how did you get into nfts whatever i explained like i just learned about what the mf and nft is nft two weeks ago okay that's what happened why tell why why did he ask me this next this is his follow-up question not about crypto or ethereum any anything else he could have asked me about my mother honestly this whore asked me sorry you might have to leave that this fool asked me what does consciousness mean to you so for any girl who hasn't you dated a gaslight gatekeep i've gone through ego death person or you've spent less than a week or two in la i was like wow it simply couldn't be why are you asking me the craziest part about this is did i not just say i don't know what it is about your life in la but you just attract the most insufferable human being literally like actually you're so right when you say crazy. that crazy like they are they are people that i meet them and i'm like i first off sometimes dom likes them i don't understand i want to just be i want to literally punch you them know, in the this face guy, that annoying this guy actually had me like oh oh my god get me out of here because i was slowly losing brain cells and he was talking to me about his nft ideas that i really personally don't care about and he was talking about how he wants to have the first hotel in space and i'm like then take that up with elon musk but you're honestly killing my hot girl vibe i'm not your girl i'm really not your girl i'm actually like really fucking stupid i'm stupid i'm really stupid when it comes to this stuff you don't want to be talking to me about your nft ideas i cannot help and progress to you so anyways my friend steven comes he shows us his project shows it to sav it was great love steve love his brother love what they're working on but my god girls in los angeles and girls everywhere if you are taking a new interest into the nft life protect yourself it's always too just in general like the craziest guys are the ones who like you are the like wannabe like indie boys who are like in like this back in the day by, by the way dom and i probably would have liked this type a few years ago dom more recently i i went through a phase okay it's always those people and it's like they're so deep and what oh, they you know what those people need to shut the fuck up because they are they <laughs> are the gaslighters they, they are the are worst kind the of worst people the worst man the manipulators Manipul oh the psychos God. the literal they make my skin crawl like Actually, I will go on a date with a fucking finance bro. Yeah, if that literally. means that I don't have to talk about ego death, consciousness, and bull yeah. what? Do you know, want to know what's happening in my brain? There is a monkey with a symbol putting that shit together, and the hamster has taken itself off the wheel. The guys that I like now are a direct correlation of the opposite of the guys that I've met in Los Angeles. When a guy tells me, like, I'm like, what do you like to do for fun? He's like, watch football. I'm like, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm, Love you. Thank you. Literally. That's your fantasy league did you win yes or no i don't care guys because wait. one of our like really good friends in dallas texted me today she won fantasy football by and she doesn't know anything about football by randomly picking all the teams the chances that are happening are like so slim she beat everyone she won unbelievable it's impressive it is and i just i needed to come like, on here and share my story like i don't want to be at your wannabe indie hipster, no it's also oh, oh i'm not done indie hipster <laughs> bookshop with this fucking off the wall coffee shop where you know everyone you're so cool whatever no i want to be at a ah! sports bar with some guy who's not gonna gaslight me like these people are so emotionally manipulative and honestly just downright crazy that's and what they just are. downright and we're speaking from experience of many of them of many just insufferable fucking people i'm like I, I know don't, someone who's a little bit less developed i'm like, like can't yeah like i don't you're not even smart enough to like oh. You, you don't even know. You don't know what gaslight like, means. Like, no, and you know what you 
you shouldn't know what that means. You shouldn't know anything. Like you really shouldn't I know anything. Want you need to get a blank ca a canvas so that we can. You know what I that. want? I want a himbo. Yeah. Just a himbo. Like he didn't know shit. Yeah. He know shit about anything. He didn't know pink from blue. Yeah. I, that's all I want. Cause I, I, I and they can be fun. Oh no! I left and I was like, I can't be here. I can't sit. I was like, stop talking to me. You know, our friend Sav. She's so nice. So nice. Like she's just so nice. She, I, I had to take a moment of silence. She's so nice. That's how I feel about you and groups, though. I was just I'm like, like soft, like I would, no. This I literally was like Sav. We can't keep talking to him, bro. You know what the difference is, though. The reason that I. Because I used to be like that, and I'm just naturally really nice, but I used to get myself in situations socially where I couldn't get out of them. I lived in L.A. I moved to L.A. way before you did, like two years before you did. Yeah. So I'd already gone through it, so I realized I can excuse myself, and it's fine. No, I was like, I'm excusing myself. Yeah. I well, now you're like that. I refuse yeah. to talk to her. I was like, oh, my God, no. But Sav, what, she was like, I feel bad. He's like, doesn't know anyone. Like, Okay, he, I feel bad in those settings. No, but like, he is a man. And all, it's all men. You can meet people. It's all men. Like, if you're a man in a man's setting, how easy is it to meet men and talk to other guys about you men? Know, men love other men. A man love. Themselves. Men love nothing more than themselves. Other men. That is so accurate, Kenzie. And no more ultra deep in no. indie creative Shh. men. No. You know what? They're they are the worst. Like this is what I want for them. <laughs> Shut, shut it. Cause we had, I just remembered. I, we've shared this story before, but we had like, okay, I, I change this. When I say a college stalker, I mean it. Like I'm not I saying mean like, a college. Like stalker. we were actually so scared, but it was like one of these guys. And this wasn't just we. We don't. By the way, we're not saying this from one experience with one guy like that. No, and not. Oh, we remember we the other guys in general. We have so many normal guys. No, but I mean the other one that no, I dated. No, but do you remember the one who would follow me around and like show up and was like silent? And at first I thought they were cute, but then they started blowing up my phone and literally yeah. being psychotic. Thanks. Yes, there's just so many. Just of them, honestly, so. I look many and I stay away don't have time for it so this is our warning to you if you are going to a male dominated space be prepared to bark like don't even let them start talking like literally just start barking in their I'm just, face I'm just gonna start playing dumb so they'll just stop talking to me I'm well, literally I'm gonna, gonna be like oh my gosh is that like um no but see that's the thing I, I tried playing dumb I did I said oh, web 3 I don't know a ton about web 3 bitch I fucking know what web 3 is and listen it's not ever we love creative boy like that's just so many of our friends but there's you know the type it's you like know. it's literally what a Joe from you or whatever yes like that kind of guy like, I'm like god you suck oh my god I'm you're like, not, you don't you're not smarter or cooler or more developed or whatever because you think you know where I'm like also the fuck oh up. you took shrooms yeah and you took shrooms and went to Palm Springs and stared, you have a house in Joshua Tree yeah yes. and, and stared in the desert and realized oh you didn't go through ego death you literally realize your personality's mid as hell <laughs> and maybe you should stop talking so much like maybe that's actually all you realize and it, what's so sad is it takes drugs it takes hallucinogenics for these boys we could have told you that and we so, could have done that and for free. so i post the question <laughs> is is if hallucinogenics are fixing your brains and helping you realize that you are in the wrong then who's hallucinating in the first place that's true. Oh, I have a new t uh, show for us to write, pitch, you know, whatever. You know how everyone is, like, so jealous of our friendship? Yes. Um, We need to, and everyone always, I don't know about you, but I get probably, honestly, realistically, I get probably 100 DMs a day on, like, how to make friends. Yeah. We need a friend matchmaking show. Fuck. Yeah. Um, that's what we need to do. And it'll be, like, funny. I have, like, ways to spin it to make it more entertaining. I'm into that. But you know what I also love? Like, I, have you seen Nathan for you? Yes. Okay, like, I. No, there's this girl I, I want to show be, you. Like, the Nathan version and, like, where it's, like, uh, bad. It, like, there's this funny. girl. Well, no, honestly, you got me fired up about these guys. I'm remembering. <laughs> yeah, we got re One of them texted me, guys. Oh, yeah. We brought, oh, Sometimes there's parking in here. Oh, I think they're. I can just park over here. Oh, okay, cool. Right? Well, it says no. 6 p.m. 8 p.m. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're fine. I know. I, you know, believe it or not, Tom, I did. I have lived in LA, and I've been here before. But I, I was gonna know. get street parking. I didn't know you there. lived here. 
um, longer than you have, so. I didn't know you were from here. I thought, no, I'm just kidding. I'm I mean, not I'm not from bad. here. I don't claim that, but I have lived here longer. No, I, I know. Nice I just, try. Okay. Um, I fought one of Dom's insufferable friends the other night. Um, he, I fought. She also fought him. He was being so rude, and he like, said something rude about Texas, which is like the only way to like piss me off. And then he was like saying something about how I can't wear cowboy boots in LA, and I was like, how long have you lived here? Literally, she is. Shut five, or five. Shut, five. Shut your mouth. If I was there, I would have cussed him out. But I also, wasn't. cowboy boots are trendy. Like everyone wears them. Like literally, I wear cowboy boots. Shut. I was up. wearing her cowboy boots. You were wearing my cowboy boots, and literally, you say that again, you're gonna get rocked. Yeah, we'll fight you. So, anyways, you know, just today, I was actually talking about how I'm not as emotionally reactive as I was. Or I was how not. funny is my one eye open for? Seeing I haven't even this, seen that. That's actually this eye mask. Funny. My friend got me this eye mask, and you can close the eyes. Look, one eye open for Selena. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. We're getting facials at six. So that we'll was take you there. wow, you guys. Sorry, I hijacked it for a moment, but my warning. Heed my warning. You needed to hear that, everyone. To celebrate my great mood that has quickly turned around, got a little um, happy hour marg at Jakaya. Turn it to the one. If you're ever here, go to Harriet's for drinks. It's great. Um, but Face Gym just opened. It's on Sunset. We're gonna go get facials, but it's like a sculpting facial. So it's you like a wash off, you know? So when I have a jawline. Yeah, so you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, new girls. You know my margarita was only $5. Happy hour. Oh, that place, yeah. Love that. Sakaya. It's so cool. So much. Wow. I loved it. Are we snatched, guys? Yes, we are. Like, my jawline has never been more defined. No, literally, when she was tugging, like, when she was like. Did you do the vibration thing? Yes. Oh, oh my god. god. Making my face. I, I was like, twist, like, literally. Because <laughs> it, like. I, like I, I don't remember. Like, like I was literally like, like this. this. Yeah, like it basically it involuntarily like moves your muscle. And like my muscle, lips whatever. are literally like guys. My face was contorting. I was like okay. For the record, I sound really stupid, but I just like lose all brain cells at the end of recording days, so I don't know how to speak anymore. Um, but yeah, anyways, I feel so snatched. It was so incredible. I was really. So really guys, I was. Everyone is sleeping. I'm about to go to hike with a friend. Today is like a self-care day. I booked a massage at Squeeze. Going on a hike, gonna get a smoothie. I might go do a little bit of shopping. Cheer season two comes out and I need to prep for tomorrow's episodes. I'm so excited. This has reminded me that like the past few weeks I have not done anything to take care of myself besides like regular workouts. And I need to make that more of a priority. I guess I just like forgot, I don't know. I'm back from my hike, laying in bed, watching cheer before my massage. I've never been happier. I have just had the most incredible past two and a half hours. I'm on episode three of cheer. There's nine episodes. I'm thinking that if I play my cards right, I can finish by tomorrow. Granted, I have a lot of work to do, but I think I can like figure it out. You know, are you proud of me for watching a show? No. All you do is complain that I don't watch shows. I'm just kidding, I am proud of you because that, that is really I can't cool. win. Um, on my self-care day, we're on our way to a massage. Dom doesn't want to get a massage. Cause I'm, is anyone else like ticklish? But like, they don't tickle you. I know, massage. but like, even if someone just like touch, touch my neck. See, like I instantly. You know what's crazy? Away. You get so you're like, oh my god, you never hug me, you never hug me, you never but hug me. But it's because then... do are you're not ticklish, so you don't even know what that feels like when someone goes like this to you and it tickles. Have you ever gotten a massage before? No, not from someone that wasn't in my family we because I start literally start being like. Wah! I love this place because it's so nice and they have you can control everything. If you watch my LA vlogs, I used to have a membership. But like it's the best place ever. I'm not I wasn't actually even a huge massage girl until I went to squeeze and that changed everything. Thank you. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. There's a new podcast episode up. So like has the career tips and stuff, but I'm getting ready. I'm about to head off to go to Rumble for boxing. Here's my outfit. I'm meeting up with Morgan Gates. I never say her last name. I don't know why I said that, but we're going to Rumble and then we're gonna get breakfast after. So I'm very excited. I've actually been keeping up with my workouts this week. 
This vest, by the way, is from Zara. It's like the best thing I've purchased. I love this set, but I mean, look at this. I think that. Bye, Dom. I'll walk you out. Oh, okay. Guys, um, oh. I'm back, I got ready for the studio. I'm going to record with Natasha and Victoria today and then I'm done. I am just really ready to be done batch recording, guys. Honestly, this has not been, for whatever reason, like I, the recordings have been really, really good, but I've had to like push myself more to get there. Like normally I'm on one 24 seven and it's been, a, it's been a challenge to be on one, but the episodes are really good. These are gonna be great today, so don't worry everyone. I kind of look like a divorce mom. The divorced single mom right now. Are you? I wish. <laughs> Get some child support? Some no spousal proof. support? No, because at one point someone left me. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well anyways, breadwinning housewife tote. Guys, by the way, they are sending me today the first samples of the next drop. So, get excited. What I was trying to say is I need like map talk. I'm on episode 6 of Cheer. They covered Ooh. all the Jerry stuff, which is like so... Heartbreaking look for the victims obviously. I don't know. I don't want to talk about it because it's just like so Horrible, but what I need is Matt talk. I need to pump myself up in this drive Which I do a lot. I did I like sit so close to the steering wheel I know her legs are that much longer than mine. She's gonna be like you gotta be kidding me here I am. I need Matt talk. My blue bottle is getting to the studio. I need to just like zone in I'm feeling like I'm getting there. I blast music. I used to always play Beyonce live on my way to like meetings and stuff, I go back and forth. I'm gonna really, really like do something. This is perfect. I just got to the studio and I had um, Blue Huddle delivered and the guy thought it was alcohol, so not yet. I really liked the recordings today. I liked Natasha a lot. Yeah, both of them were really good. They were great. I was like, that one was the one I was worried about, and I was hoping it would head in that direction. I loved when it happened. Yeah, so I feel... had a lot in common, too, so made easy. No, the, those are my top five books that she listed. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I love her. Mm -hmm. And Victoria really killed it. Good recordings today. Okay, um, I can go into intro and outro. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the I Love You So Much podcast. We talked about how when we were, like, 18, 19, 20... We used to have these meetings where we would kind of, they were kind of like accountability meetings, but we would brainstorm, we would talk about what's working in our lives, what's not, we would goal set, and I thought that that would be a really cool conversation to bring on to the podcast. I think this would be a really great thing as like breadwinning housewives that we can do, you know? Anyways, love you guys so much, and I will talk to you next Thursday. Okay, um, do I need to add anything else? I would say, okay, that's over 60, so. Okay, perfect. All right, I feel like that's good. Okay, perfect. You good? Yes. Perfect. There we go. Hi. That is a wrap. This week has, like, been just the hardest batch recording week for me. I don't know why. I tell you, it's the, the top of the year. You're it's just too soon. You're very busy. I was yeah. only in Dallas for, like, three days in between this and New York. Like, I need to just not i need to go watch cheer in peace is what i need to do so now you don't have anything to do now right no i leave tomorrow i go home which i'm very excited for i miss dallas i honestly really like the shows that i recorded this week yeah. feeling good about that i want to have monica from cheer on so bad that's like my dream right now i need to like she's in texas it's going to happen i tried to last year but i'm gonna really just you know do whatever i can Thank you so much. If you were wondering, that's Dom in the background. <sighs> Being a hater, but I have to say, I turned it around. I was really worried I wasn't gonna be on one today, and typically when I leave the studio, I'm just on one. And the recordings were incredible. They were so good. I love Natasha, we're the exact same person. Victoria is an angel. It was just such a good day in the studio. It was really fun. I told Connor that he said sorry for not inviting him to your birthday party, and he said he'll need some time to forgive you. Yeah. Now we're gonna go meet up with Ryan, my bestie, our bestie from college. Favorite person in the world. If you guys listen to the podcast back in the day, that's the Ryan, the infamous Ryan. Um, yeah. Love him to death. One of my favorite people in the entire world. And clearly I love him more than Dom does, because look at her. So a little update about me, you guys. I don't know if you've been keeping up with Kenzie and I's little banter drama on TikTok, but essentially I 
I haven't been the best version of myself. I haven't been showing up for myself in the best way. And that sounds a little deep. And let me tell you it is because let me tell you how low you have to go um, to just nonstop hit up your ex. Like it's almost as if it's your full-time job. Yeah, let me tell you. That's a little bit about my life right now. So I told Kenzie that I recently entered the dating pool again in an attempt to stop talking to my ex because have you thought about getting over your ex in like ways that might be healthy to where you just like fully heal and move on from it yeah mm -hmm. like going on another date with someone i think they call that a rebound <laughs> you see you think that's healthy you don't know too much about this also you guys Something about this bag right here, Kenzie, I wanted to be the first one to let you guys know how awesome of an ally Kenzie is. She said for Black History Month, this is something that she wanted to gift me with, and I think that's pretty awesome of you, Kenzie. <laughs> I don't know about um, your other audience, but for me, as your best friend, I think that's such a Kylie Jordan move. <laughs> and I think that's really cool. Okay. Um, Don take my bag. I think I have something that looks just like this. And it was a free outdoor voices <laughs> bag that she was gonna trade for my balloons. Actually, bag. let me clarify, not free because I did have to. It came with purchase. It came with purchase. I think I got socks that day. Um. So back to me. I I am working through this, and so I told Kenzie I was on Hinge, and there was this guy who's from Texas and has moved to LA. And I said, that's really great. I was born in Texas. I'm not from Texas. But I know a thing or i I'm a tech I consider myself a Texas girl. I so, agree so if I went on a date with him, I'd be like. Has anyone ever told you about a place? A little secret place called Highland Park Village? Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh wow. Um oh, high fives. Seventy-seven. I've heard of those places a few times. 77, that's what you're going to go with. She's lost her mind, guys. Texas Roadhouse. Or um, a place called Watt Burger. I'm literally texting in our group for our monkey bar, our monkey bar, on our bar, dinner, plans tomorrow night. Are you just so sad with all of our best friends? Like, it's actually so rude that you don't. You could just, that. there is such a thing as just coming for a weekend. Like, I know that we don't do that, and you come for, like, Dude, two months. Dude, that's such a tease. How am I supposed to ever just go? I know, but, like, you can do that. For one weekend? Yeah, like a normal that's, person. That's literally a joke. That's literally a Dom joke. Dom can't come right now because she has, like, a shoot. But, like, you're letting what, a shoot that's, like, literally one day take away from, like, an entire month of things that you could be doing. No, because I'm on hold for three days in case we need to reach. Okay, whatever. You have those three days. I how is that? How are you allowing that to affect? I just can't believe that you, you would not let me in. I just don't understand how you would have let that affect, like, a whole month of your life. It's a three-day shoot. Like, but then I, I really, I have something next week, too. Well, this is a prime example of Dom is crying every day because she's not in Texas, but you heard it here first, guys. There's nothing I can do. Everyone no, wants you back. Everyone's you sad. Do. Everyone is trying really hard, and you're and you're crying and you're complaining. And I'm like, I I can't feel bad anymore because. But it's just like exhausting because I'm like, where would I even stay? Like Kenzie's not gonna let me. I can't even hear this from her. Coming from the girl who has lived at my house for probably six months collectively. I mean, you're just gonna keep crying and like just imagine. I am. Like, I like being the victim. Yeah, no, I got that. Fine. Keep in mind, we have to leave in five minutes. She started without me. How are we going to leave in five minutes when I still have to do a full face of makeup? Why are you doing that? Do you want me to take my makeup off? Is that what it will take? No, because you look the same with or without makeup. Okay, well, that's not really a compliment. I don't think. It is a compliment. Mm -hmm. Because if I look the same with or without makeup, do you think I'd be doing a full face right now? You really don't need to do anything. You, I feel like you look the exact same too. See, the um, only way it makes a difference is when you like a big difference is false eyelashes and I don't wear false eyelashes So that's the difference. Yeah, well, I'm and you're just, also better because I've just been feeling a little naked right now because I'm well, you're not eyelash glue. Well, you're honestly we're going we're literally going to get food. Kenzie and I are fight. fighting We're fighting vlog. You know what? I'm gonna start filming our fights. Film them. I will and they're gonna be like Dom's wrong No, 
<laughs> I'm gonna be like, guys, I know. I'll just I'll be like, sorry. don't forget, everyone. Black History Month is right around the corner. <laughs> Remember to be on the right side of history. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well. I'm gonna like grab a hoodie anyway. Hey, I'm gonna miss you guys. It's been a good week hanging. It's really sad. Everyone's so excited when you're back in the vlogs. I know, it's always so sad when the camera goes away and the lights go down. And it's just me. And the curtain closes. <laughs> the curtain closes and I go, it's just me left. Wow. Yeah. Does it feel weird like sharing your life online and then just not at all? Yeah, I'm like, don't, aren't you guys ever curious? Maybe what I'm up to. Yeah, I give them updates. You would know if you watch. No, I know you do. Sometimes a little too much. <laughs> Sometimes a little too honest. Yeah, about your ex that you do. I don't share anything if you ever put it online. You know what's so great? I can only ever actually date guys that aren't online because, <laughs> like, wow, what a psycho would I be if they ever checked my social media? Do you guys ever hear me go Can I wear this? Oh, yeah. About my love life? You know what happened. Someone blew the whistle on me. Or you, whatever. Yeah, I like that answer. Guys, Dom is like holding on to things too hot, tightly right now. What does that mean? You're not even making sense. You just like need to like let things go and not be like, oh my god, this is like gonna happen. Did you think about that right now? Maybe I'll put leggings on. No. Do you think you like go to things too fast? <laughs> I actually wish I did. No, I, I would kill to have that skill. I feel like that you do do that. No, I don't. Like, it takes me a long time to get over something, honestly. That is such a lie from hell. Are you kidding? I mean, maybe not like... Kenzie, serious. I feel like you go, No, I'll be fine in about... Hmm, give me uh, 48 hours. But then I'm like talking about it six months later. <laughs> Didn't I re One time we got went to the Henry... And we were talking about you, and we were like, she was like, yeah, I mean, Kenzie seems great. She's, she literally says she's already fine. And I was like, yeah, I don't know, she's just like that. So you do be getting over things really fast. Um, maybe I'm lying. I think I have a car. Sorry, guys, I'm taking my shirt off underneath. I think I'm just lying to you guys. Well, that's not good. Then I'm, like, talking to you about it when I'm, like, drinking at, like, 3 a.m. I mean, and granted, that doesn't really mean much, but... I don't know, I don't think I really get over things that fast. I actually think I have a problem with like really getting over things. I, I get over like, if I've been dating someone for a long time and we break up, I think it takes me, it's quicker because I'm like, I don't want to be with you. Also the people, they, they made it very easy for me to get over them. <laughs> In the nicest way possible, you know? <laughs> but not like the other ones that I'm like, oh, I really liked you. Like that was fun. Cause like I didn't see them turn into a psycho. So like it's harder to get over them. Because like, I personally witness it, like it's easier to get over people that you've dated than it is to get over people that like you've dated for shorter periods of time. But you've been with for like a long time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because then you're like, I've seen this play out. Exactly. All right, well we're gonna go. You're not putting on a full facing makeup. I'll literally murder you. Dom, up. should we Uber? <laughs> I'm being for real. Are we gonna like, have it sip or? We got Mrs. Texas on Ox here. Up. We're back. Dom, how was your night? It was good. Kenzie and I made some TikToks. Ryan had us deceased 24-7. And I don't know, you guys, I'm a little sad right now because I'm just going to miss Kenzie a lot. You know, it's really hard for me when she leaves. Weird, like you don't even say anything too. No, but you too. You just get silent. Mm. Well, I am gonna miss you. Well, Dom, like you could have gone to Texas. You know I can't. So shh. You really can. Dom shh. will have something that's like three days in a whole month, and it ruins her entire shh. month. But she's like, I can't do this. I have this coming up, and I'm like, that's three weeks away. I have potential for other things coming up next week. It's like the first time hearing of this. Yeah, well, I just week. found out today, too. Mm. Well, anyways, I think I'm going to watch Cheer, and I'm reading Monica's book from Cheer, too. Why Have you guys watched Cheer? Do you like Cheer? I'm the biggest fan. What if you just read your book? 
I think that would be good for you. I'm gonna have my headphones in and I'm gonna put a pillow in between us and I'm gonna watch Cheer. I'm not even gonna be in here. Where are you gonna go? I'm gonna go to the living room. Hmm. Can you watch Euphoria? I feel like that's way better for you. No. Um, guys, how do you feel about a guy riding a motorcycle? Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, Kenzie, I asked Kenzie, I'm like, Kenzie, how do you feel about a guy riding a motorcycle? And she goes, I mean, yeah, it just tells us a story about how she would never because of safety. And I'm like, I dead ass don't give one crap about safety. I just want to do it because it's the most embarrassing thing I could possibly think of. <laughs> like, imagine you and your friends are all leaving from a bar and you, like, went with your boyfriend. Everyone's getting in their cars and you leave behind your boyfriend in a motorcycle. Absolutely humiliating. Well, one of Dom's many aches. Leave your worst ache below. I'm just, imagine leaving a behind on a motorcycle. <laughs> or even worse, he's alone. He yeah. pulls up alone on a motorcycle. It's humiliating. I decided I'm gonna pack everything in the morning, which shouldn't take me that long, and then we have to leave at like 8.30, so. Okay, well you guys, it's been a fun ride. Well, I'll we'll vlog in the morning, so. Oh. It's a week in my life, tomorrow's Friday. <gasps> Duh. Should we wake up a little early and get like a coffee or something? Sure. Maybe, Maybe not feeling yet. I probably thought. Morning, queen. Good morning. Anyways, we're going to back our bowls. Do you feel like we're in college? Yeah. We used to come out here every morning. <laughs> Guys, I'm going home. But I'll be sad because I'll miss Dom and a few other friends. And the, but I'll be happy because I'm in Texas. Dom said that she's sad because she's not coming. And she understands. No, I leaving. understand Kenzie leaving. It's just... Me not being able to go with, you know, like I that's think, what hurts so much. I think that's like a little, it's a little hard on me. I haven't seen the kids in a minute. Fitz, Coco, I tell Kenzie, show them my picture regularly so they remember what I look like and who I am. She doesn't do that. I have to ask Maddie to do it. It's just really. I do not love Maddie in my house. <laughs> <laughs> At all. We got a new security system and she somehow got in while I was gone this And I'm gonna like amp that up. It's actually really funny, I think. She's that's not really allowed funny. in my house. That's so. actually really funny. Yeah, okay, amazing. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. My beautiful, beautiful coffee. Oh yeah, I forgot. Guys, did anyone watch my college vlogs? Because I'd be back here. People are there, so I don't want to film them, but. Throwback. Throwback. Cute. All right, guys, I forgot to film an outro. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry it was so long, but I hope you guys are having a great day and you just had a great time watching this video. Love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next week. My first internship was at Into the Gloss. That is so OG. Yeah, it was really OG. It was like three people in a loft. It was so fun, so cool, um, and I like learned so much.